Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. So in the last couple of lessons we've been looking at all these different molecules like alkanes, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones and I really do get this feeling that people are starting to understand that now which is fantastic. We're going to end this part off now by looking at carboxylic acids and esters. Let's start off with the carboxylic acid. So just like aldehydes and ketones, carboxylic acids also have a C double bond oxygen, but then just next to that carbon, they've also got an OH. And so that's that Ku thing that we saw a couple of lessons back. And so we said that that's a carboxylic acid. So the general formula for a carboxylic acid is going to be the following. It's CN, H, 2N, and then O. Two. Let me explain. If we count the number of carbons, there are 1, 2, 3, 4. The number of hydrogens is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we can see that we've got where we get the 2n from. And then if we look at the number of oxygens, there are 2. And so chemists have just decided to call it like that. So that is the general formula. Okay, so let me just write here general formula. The functional group. The functional group is the part of the molecule that makes it do what it does or makes it what it is. And so that's this. We can't say it's just that because that could be an aldehyde, a ketone, or a carboxylic acid. It's this entire part of the year that makes it the carboxylic acid. So we saw in a previous lesson that a ketone has a double bond oxygen and then two carbons next to it. That's what makes it what it is. Then the aldehyde has the double bond oxygen, but then it's at the end. So there's a hydrogen, and then the next one would be a carbon. But for the functional part, we just look at that. Then for the carboxylic acid now, we've got a double bond oxygen, but then that must be attached to an OH. That's what makes something a carboxylic acid. So this is the functional group. Next, we're going to look at the esters. Now, the esters are very easy to identify. They're the only ones that have an oxygen in the main chain. All the others had oxygen double bonds, for example, or they had an OH on one of the branches, but none of them had an oxygen in the actual carbon chain, and so they're pretty easy to identify. Their general formula is the same as the carboxylic acids, and so that's going to be CnH2NO2. Let's explain that again. So carbon, there's one, two, three, four. Hydrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can see that it's double. And then the oxygen will always just be two. And we can see that over here, one, two. So if I give you this over here, that can be a carboxylic acid or it could be an ester. Because even the est I mean even the carboxylic acid had that same general formula. So we're gonna have to be careful going forward. And then the functional group is this part over here. That's what makes it what it is. So you'd say C double bond oxygen and O. And so that is the functional group of an ester. So guys, that is it. We have covered in the last couple of videos, we've covered all nine molecules. You now have a much better understanding of what the different types look like. So what you can try if you want is go back to the beginning of this chapter and try those tests that we did. You know where we had to try identify what everything was. I can guarantee it you are going to knock those out the park because we've now spent a lot of time looking at the different types. So well done to you and let's keep pushing forward.